FBI pressured Twitter, sent trove of docs hours before Post broke Hunter laptop story. The FBI sprang into action within hours of the New York Post reaching out to Hunter Biden for comment about his scandalous laptop, falsely warning Twitter and Facebook executives that the computer's discovery was part of a Russian hack and leak operation. That's a key finding in the latest installment of Elon Musk's Twitter files, revealed Monday by independent journalist Michael Schellenberger who reports that then-Twitter head of site integrity Yoel Roth was prepped on censoring the post's exposé at a tabletop exercise on hacked materials organized and attended by media elites. The trove of new records also show more evidence indicating that former top FBI lawyer James Baker had an outsized role in quashing the post's reporting in his role as Twitter's deputy general counsel. The Twitter documents were showed that an FBI agent contacted Roth hours before the post published its October 14. 2020 piece exposing questionable overseas business dealings conducted by Hunter Biden that were revealed on the hard drive of his laptop. That was less than a month before the election pitting Hunter's dad, Joe Biden, against incumbent President Donald Trump. FBI San Francisco Special Agent Elvis Chan sent 10 documents to Roth and at least one other person on the night of October 13, 2020, via a special one-way communications channel, according to Schellenberger. Chan asked Roth and his colleagues to confirm they had received the documents. Approximately two and a half hours earlier, Hunter Biden attorney George Mazires had called and emailed Delaware computer repair shop owner John Paul Mac Isaac. After learning from the Post that the first article based on files recovered from the abandoned laptop would be published the next day. I am a lawyer for Hunter Biden and I appreciate you reviewing your records on this matter, Mazires wrote to Mac Isaac. Mac Isaac had tipped off the FBI about criminal evidence on the laptop, and the feds confiscated the computer back in December 2019. Nine months later, having not heard back from the feds, Mac Isaac gave a copy of the laptop to Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani, after not hearing back from the bureau. Giuliani supplied the Post with the trove of damning content. But the Post's story was suppressed by Facebook and Twitter, which temporarily banned the outlet in the wake of its publication. It was also ignored or discredited by mainstream outlets, many of whom quietly substantiated the report years later. It is not clear what was in the documents Chan emailed to Roth, who played a key role in suppressing the Post's bombshell. But the timing is uncanny and, as Schellenberger reported, Chan's action was in keeping with a larger effort by the FBI to squelch speech on the platform in the name of guarding against foreign interference in elections. In July 2020, Chan had arranged for temporary top-secret security clearances for Twitter executives so that the FBI can share information about threats. To the upcoming elections, Schellenberger wrote, as he published a screenshot of the FBI agent's email to Roth about the arrangement. Roth said three months later in a sworn declaration that the feds had primed him to dismiss reports of the soon-to-be first son's laptop as a, a Russian hack and leak operation, but Chan later admitted under oath that the warnings were overblown. Schellenberger wrote on Twitter Monday, through our investigations, we did not see any similar competing intrusions to what had happened in 2016, Chan said in a sworn deposition last month in connection with a lawsuit filed by Missouri and Louisiana alleging the federal government and Biden administration leaned on social media companies to suppress speech. Chan also insisted that no one had mentioned Hunter Biden's laptop to him before the Post broke the story and that he had not discussed it with anyone at Twitter.